Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. In this video, we want to drop the height of this MXX. The reason why we want to drop the height is because it's going to have a new owner and it requires a lower seat height to instill a lot more confidence over the next year or so of that ownership. We got to lower the front fork and also swap out the suspension. But first thing first, we need to measure the current ride height. So based on what we see here, it's about 760mm, which is 76cm from ground up all the way. So we got ourselves a new shock. It's supposed to be 2cm shorter. Not too sure whether it fits in. So we need to take out the old one and then see what's the difference and then see whether we can slot it in. Okay, so we have to remove the whole rear panel again and then also the some of the side panel in order to access to this bolt here to unmount the top half so now we took out all the cover including the chain guard and the mud flap or the real hugger you call it to expose the whole bike so now we will have access to the main top screw and the bottom bolt so we take this opportunity to clean up a little bit before we move on so we loosen the top bolt and now we want to loosen the bottom one Okay, so before we fully release the boat, we actually jack up this real swing arm area, the pivot point. So when we remove the shock, it doesn't collapse. We got out the two nuts and then now we got to pull out the, the pin slowly. Okay, so now we got the second boat up. So now the whole thing is pretty loose. It's quite easy to just take it out. Okay, so now we do a little comparison in terms of length. So indeed, it's uh, shorter by a little bit. So right now, we try to install this in. So we put the top in first. So after some adjustment and a lot of fiddling, we finally got the top boat in secured. So now we're going to match the lower boat by adjusting this height and also feed it in and out. So we finally boat it in. Looks all right, but uh, we gotta fix other stuff and then see how it goes. So next we need to down the fork in order to balance it out. So we fitted back in the mud guard or the rear hugger or the chain guard you call it to see whether it blocks any part. So all good, so we gotta secure this. Okay, so we place back the fairing and we want to measure again what's the height. So currently there's about 75 mm so we probably drop like a 1 cm so next off we will move to the fork we will down the fork by 1 cm as well this time around we'll set up the jack just to maintain the front fork so it doesn't drop when we loosen the triple clamp so simple stuff just uh, loosen all this nut so right now we have loosened all the six bolt what we gotta do is we try to lower this and then shift this up by 1 cm okay so we measure the top yoke to the top cap is uh, 1 cm which is 10 mm then we can lock in this bolt in order to secure the setup okay just ensure both sides are equal before we lock on to all the bolts and then all we need to do is just uh, tighten it to lock in the setting and we are done Okay, so now after dropping the front, the estimated height is about 72.5. So we lower pretty much about 3 cm down. That's quite significant. Hopefully the new user will get used to it and like it a lot. Alright guys, so this is the right way to lower down your bike. You need to balance the front and the rail not just by downing fork or swapping out the rear suspension basically you will rock the balance of the bike itself you will feel a bit weird or funny so whenever you try to adjust the suspension you have to compensate the front and the rear all right guys so this is the end of this video hope to see you on the next one bye bye